Josh Parry, who I mention in probably just about every second video that I do, tagged me in a thing called the Primary School Memories tag, which I'm not sure if he invented or if someone tagged him in it. Uh, either way, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it slightly differently to how he did it though, because he spoke for quite a while about many, many, many different primary school memories, and I'm not going to lie, I really can't be bothered to talk for that long. So I have written down on my magical whiteboard down here, five primary school memories. The first memory that I'm going to tell you is the first day of reception. I can't remember the exact date, but it would have been sometime in early September 1995. I was being taken to school by my mother. My first memory of school is of us arriving and walking in through the gate and round to the entrance to my classroom, which seemed such a long way at the time, but in reality was like 25 metres. All I remember is this kid and his parents were walking in just behind us, and all I could hear him saying was, I don't know, mommy, it's my first day at school today. And that sounds like I'm doing a racist accent, but that's actually how he sounded. And he was English. And he still is English. Second memory. Throughout my time in the juniors at primary school, so from the age of seven until the age of 11, I was the only boy in the school choir. At this point, most people would say something like, well, hey, see, I was a man with a plan even back then. But it was genuinely just because I really liked singing and I was quite good at singing at the time. And I wanted to be in the choir. So I went in the choir. My third memory, and this is going to sound like I'm showing off, but I'm not, it's just a statement of fact, is that I was the youngest person to ever be selected to play the lead role in a school play. And as far as I'm aware, I'm probably still the youngest person, I don't know. I was uh, ooh, nine, I think. No, eight. And I was selected to play the part of Jeremiah Obadiah Jackanory Jones in our school's theatrical adaptation of the children's book, Jeremiah and the Dark Woods. It was when I was doing that particular play that I began a technique that I used whenever I appeared in a play between then and when I left primary school, when I stopped appearing in plays, which was that rather than learning just my own lines, I would learn the entire script. So they didn't need a prompt sitting down the front like they have in the theater, because if anyone forgot their lines and I was on stage with them, I would just whisper their line to them. That's so anal, isn't it? <laughs> Every kid gets told off for something when they're at school, be it primary school or secondary school. Uh, it could be for cheating in a test. It could be for being caught smoking. It could be for wearing the wrong color trousers or coming in wearing trainers or whatever. I was told off for sitting at the back of the classroom and reading. Oh, I was such a cool kid. Final primary school memory. I think, and by I think I mean I'm 99% sure, that I narrowly missed out on being head boy. Now I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it manifested itself, but as far as I remember it, it was some kind of a vote that the teachers had to do. My mum worked at the school, and one of the teachers sort of kind of let something slip a bit, that I was going to be head boy. She sort of started saying it to my mum and then stopped herself. and. Then I wasn't head boy, because I guess they voted again. Right, my soup is gone, and my room is getting stuffy, and I need to go and put some after sun on my face, which got slightly burnt today while I was at the beach. The next video will be up whenever it's up. There's a link in the description to Posh Jarry's video. Thank you for tagging me, Josh. It was very enjoyable. I am going to tag some people. Uh, Tosha Rex, and Amanda Yar, and... Nick Hello Hey and Waistcoat Dave. Excellent. Subscribe and stuff. Goodbye.